waking up for like a bum. I just woke up. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Slack. Tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. It's so good to be back. I feel so good being back Thank you for the 9k subscribers guys your girl Was on a break you pretty much for break kidogo and I actually needed it I feel like many many youtubers or social media creators Need that which is really good for sababu I was feeling a bit burnt out from the whole wedding preparation, from the whole moving, from the whole everything. I was just a bit exhausted. I felt like I couldn't give my best to my YouTube channel. So now that I'm well rested and everything's Gucci, I'm back y'all. And thank you guys for everyone who's been checking up on me. That is so beautiful. Like you guys gave me the morale to like actually get it over with and come back as fast as I can. So this is the awaited video of the house tour. I've been in this house now for three weeks. Yeah, I've been I've been here for three weeks. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I love the lighting of this house, as you can see. Like I'm using just natural light. One of my favorite things about the house. So yeah, and the morning sun just comes in and just kisses my skin. The sun is setting. I love it. Like I love it in the morning in this house. So without further ado, let us make the bed. And I'll show you guys. I'm like, I better do this house before it gets messed up. You know, I have kids, guys. begin first let's 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 make myself look pretty much better don't you think <laughs> i love my braids guys i did a little lip gloss and a little eyeliner for you guys so at least i look presentable okay so yeah let's start with the bedroom guys the theme of the bedroom is black white and gray as you can see that's the colors i chose to stick with we have a bit of brown going on because of the furniture, which I love. I always love like a nice wood color situation. So yeah, the bed. <laughs> so guys, the bed nilikipata pale Shahzaid Bombolulu outside. There's these carpenters who make these beds. And guys, a uh, disclaimer, if you go pick a bed from there, you need to be very, very vigilant about the kind of wood they use and just overall stability because I had to pay extra charges for like... Yeah. So, yeah. Because I me, So, lazima, kitanda Kitanda stable. Haya. Godoro. Godoro is still new. Let me show you guys. It's still new. Badosgeito anini. 
I bought this from Naivas. They have a variety of mattresses, which yeah, you can you can choose from. Come out like orthopedic, arthropedic, siyui, springy, siyui, spongy. Haha, yeah. So they wanna so. I love they do free delivery, so that's very convenient. The duvet also from Naivas. He can keep blanket. He can go and keep safari. Sometimes when you're there, get my when you're busy, you're scared. Do you wanna eat any? My house girl is the one who put it here. She likes it, so I don't mind it. It goes with the theme, so I'm not mad. These big pillows, I got them from Naivas. Guys, I've been so busy, I haven't made like any covers for them. These three big pillows, I got them from Naivas. His is Iliqua from my old couch, which I felt like they were going really well with the theme, the gray and whatever. Also, these are like uh, big cushions from my, la my old sofa. So yeah, the gray guys they let you choose they let you pick the material, the shape, the design. So this is the design I went for. I like something very simple. Halafu vio hivi nkavieka hapa na hapa. I wanted bedside lamps, but guys, I have these uh sconces. I felt like having a bedside lamp will be like too much. I don't know. So yeah, he's in easy pattern well center. They have different colors, black nanini, so I chose white. I just love them. I wanted to put a piece over there, but I haven't decided what I want to. But maybe I'm going to do a photo shoot with my husband and have them there. Pictures. I love that idea. Alafu, these old uh, side drawers are from Uganda. These are so beautiful. I just couldn't let them go. I love them so much. And I have my like a flower pot. This is, uh, I got this from a vintage shop. Alafu Hini. I got it from Markiti. These days, Markiti, they have like places where they sell uh, fake plants. And I just, I just liked it. Like the two combination is really nice. This is a study lamp. Actually, it was um, my kids for, for, for their study table. Lakin in Kayekahapa, I feel like it, it helps as a night light. And on this side, I have my Chitetezo. Chitetezo. Chakutetezem. Odi. Mwenyewe. This is my router. I had to get an extension in my room because the router, the signal is not strong enough to reach my bedroom. And that's my dustbin. Guys, always have a dustbin in your room. I don't know why. I feel like it's very convenient. I've never done it. Please consider it. It's really, really nice. And that's where I... <laughs> Guys, yeah, so when you go to the toilet, so yeah, and that's my bathroom situation. I love having my own bathroom, toilet, and a shower, nothing crazy. After the bathroom, we have this side of the room, which is the closet. Let me zoom out so that you guys can see. Opposite side of the bed is where we have the closet. I love this closet. I love the wooden um, details of uh, this closet. It's really huge. It fits all my magorogoros. I fit up um, and say hi to my new tote bag. It says, self-love first, babe. Take time to make your soul happy. That's what I was doing, guys, when I took a break. So that's what I was doing, making my soul happy, resting and shit and eating. I know, I know, I know I've gained a lot of weight, but this is good weight, guys. Um, I've been eating, I've been resting, so it's actually really, really nice. Alhamdulillah. So this is my tiny um, makeup situation and dressing. Dressing table, I need to dressing. So this is my dressing. Um, makeups, face masks makeup lipsticks higher i think you guys uh saw when i was setting this up this vkb this vkb is very very convenient i got them from miniso and yeah my makeup makeup situations in Dohapo. so and then i get to do my makeup here i have my own makeup lights it's like a vanity situation yes see when i damu una pambwa una pambika i got my perfumes hapo Guys, my son did this. This is a permanent mark. I tried wiping it out. Like any, it's stubborn. So if you have any pointers, you can help me. Please help me out how to wipe this. This is why I was like, Nuru, you have to get this video out before the whole house is a wreck. Because, you know, the kids, they don't understand. 
So on this side of the cabinet is my rack. I have this rack. This rack has been through a lot. It has been in the bathroom. It has been in the living room. And I feel like this time it fits really perfectly because I had this kitotoro. Like for some reason there's this kitotoro in my room. And I felt like it fit perfectly. I wanted to put a lamp, standing lamp. But there's too much lights in this room. I have like sconces. I have ceiling lights. I have this just too much lights. So I decided to put this rack and where I put my handbags. So it's really, really nice. As you can see, my collection of bags. Now, when I'm even not gonna walk in closets, I mean, you walk in like you can't walk in because it's a kitotoro. But yeah, it's really convenient. I put my handbags in there. Hi, after my handbag rack, there's this plastic chair that I have. My mom usually prays on this because she can't she can't stand. So she prays on this and this is like a, a little swala area here and this is the royal ring light if you are a content creator guys you need to have a ring light you know that so about my curtains hmm let me explain guys <laughs> easy curtains ladies when i was center and they looked so good when i was buying them look at the print guys like look at the print so pretty right but i didn't know it would be it would look so bulky I wanted something really airy for my room so and then the the curtain rails were not all the way up to the ceiling as i expected so i have some access curtains on the floor and this is how i style it because my husband gave me this idea like if if you have access you can just like lay it over on the floor like that so yeah until i get that situated this is my curtains for now i kind of like uh, i kind of like the color because it goes with the room, the gray, the white. It's really pretty, the patterns. But yeah, then again, it's really long. Oh, my carpet. My carpet, guys, you know my carpet. The gray, black, and white, yeah. It goes with the aesthetics of the room. So that was my room tour. Um, this way to the living room. Yeah, guys, I have a red carpet all the way to the living room. This used to be a wall-to-wall -wall carpet I had in my old room, but I cut it up so that it can... Because <laughs> I feel like royalty, baby. If you feel like royalty, you should, make your, you should make your home feel like a palace. So, yeah, this is the situation right now. And this is the living room. face the man it's not been easy but guys your girl has been
thugging it out online. I, I got sick, mafua and everything, and sleeplessness and exhaustion, physical exhaustion. And guys, it's all coming together right now. I'll just give you like a sneak peek. <laughs> yeah, it's all coming in together and I'm planning to like do the final touches. And also, they, I need to do a bit of some fixing on the TV unit. So, inshallah, like, when everything is done, we're going to do the big reveal, inshallah. And, yeah, you guys just uh, subscribe and stay tuned. because we use British English in Kenya we say sitting room so one of the main and the most beautiful part of my living room I feel as for me I feel it's my TV wall I put so much into it in terms of mula creativity and just working with the guy who made it for me and if you're interested in something like this please hit me up I'm gonna leave my contact over there I work with this person and I'll be helping you out with your space if you're interested to have something like this done to your place. Yeah, that was my dad. He just came in. So, yeah, back to what I was telling you guys. If you're interested in this TV wall unit, please let me know. I'll have my contact there. Call me and I'll hook you up. So, let's get into it. The wall unit has these panels. As you can see, there's panels. I love for half of it is like wallpaper. I chose this because it has some green. I don't know why the green doesn't show through the camera. Like any, it's like marble, green marble, which I really love. And then uh, we have this cabinet situation. At the beginning, the guy was telling me this cabinet should be on top here, and I didn't like it. So we kind of made minor adjustments, and so that I can get to put my 
trinkets guys i love trinkets um and as of the fireplace uh this was my husband's idea he loves a fireplace a good fireplace initially we wanted a big one but yo i feel like this is just perfect it just goes with the the cabinets you know sometimes i say the cabinets and the like fireplace is there this thing is beautiful at night like you just cozy up on the sofa watch a movie and the fireplace is going on by the way this can can produce heat if you need it to but for us since we're in mombasa we just want it for the visuals and this side i have my beautiful flower pot guys this pot i bought it online on instagram from nairobi it got uh, transport it's heavy i didn't expect it to be this big guys this shit is big See, not having a comparison. Just compare it to this. It is really big, but I love big pieces. I love big pieces. I pa I paired it up with this beautiful plant, which I feel like, yeah. I think you guys saw a footage of me handling this and doing this. Um, yeah. I love kuna hizi beads in Elizabeth Market. Excuse your actually. I bought it from a guy who was on the street. It's like a really huge tasbih. You guys, I just had a change of ideas. I feel like I need to be on the frame so that I can show you how big this is, guys. This, <laughs> this I bought it. I bought it uh, on Markiti. And I saw it, and I just love the wooden, uh, the wooden look of it. And it's all wood, guys. It's really all wood. I just love it. It looks really expensive, but it wasn't. I think it was like three hundred. And yeah, so I add it on my flower pot here as a detail, just a small detail. Guys, my camera died, but we're back. As I was showing you guys, I got this from Nairobi. I actually got two pots, two different colors, two different designs. I'll show you in a bit. But yeah, for now, I just love this. It adds some greenery in the, in the space and it just fits perfectly next to, to this. Together with the the clock i really like it it comes like it feels like it's part and parcel with the wall unit which i really really like let's go to the next wall i'm finally doing this video for you guys so yeah as i was saying this space i decided to do a console and a wall piece this one is really pretty i felt like <laughs> i just liked it the rustic the gold it's like glam you know it's giving las vegas <laughs> anyways I, I just liked it it's really huge by the way it's really really big I got it from Mariuma Collections. Remember the shop, guys, I, I, I hooked you up with? It's in Mombasa, along Pentecostal, Pentecostal Church, ground floor. That's where they have Mariuma Collection. That's where I bought this piece. And for this flower pot, guys, you already remember this flower pot. I I had it fixed. It's really heavy. But yeah, I feel like it's really beautiful. I love the flowers. And then kunahi piece that I bought when I went to um, Halal Expo in Nairobi where they have like small vendors with small businesses. There's this lady who's selling these signs. So yeah, I got this one and then she gifted me a nice beautiful piece. I'll show you guys later that I'm going to hang uh, next to my dining table. So yeah, this says mashallah. This is just an uh, air spray. It smells really nice. Like oud. Instead of kufukiza oud. This is what I got, which is really awesome. Okay, fam, now we are on another angle of the room. Um, that's the main entrance behind me. And when you enter, there's the sofas. Guys, the sofas, I decided to go with this color because the theme of the living room is green. That's what my husband challenged me. He was like, you have to work with green, make it work. So there's a lot of shades of green. Like, I didn't know there's so many greens. There is so many greens and you have to be very very specific with what kind of green you want because when you're going to buy something and you ask people i want this green with lazima uena jina ya green gani uwezo kusema green ya avocado ah green ya jungle green 
all green yes you need it uh -uh. so the green that i chose was lime green lime green with a bit of gold with a bit of white that's my thing three colors guys remember i always go with three colors and then they bounce off each other so i know my my sofa is not green because i loved the beige and i just wanted to break the monotony i didn't want the green green all over the place so i went with beige which i feel like it's a very luxurious feel it gives a luxurious feel and i love the finishing of the couch i got my my sofas uh made along mombasa malindi road vok mokujo vok boys of kenya yeah kuna a lot of seremalas pale wako pale barabarani so you just go to them with your design i took mine from pin interest and i showed it to them and they delivered and i like it and i added some cushions guys these cushions funny story these are actually cutting materials i purchased from um nawal center just to play off with the lime green i just wanted the lime green to go into the couch so that people can understand it's still one concept so yeah there you go i got my cushions it's a single seat it's really cute i like it i decided to make it a different color the 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 sofa people were like are you sure i'm like yes i'm sure i want it to be green so that it goes again with my theme of my room and also there's a footrest also which is green so all these uh, seats are a family it's a family it's one family okay the only thing that marries them is the green and the gold this one the the, the big ones have gold and the pillowcases are green of course and then the, the beautiful seat on its own i just love how it turned out about the carpet um it's a very large carpet i chose a light color so that again it can brighten up the room some more plus the window the sliding balcony window that gives it a lot of light coming into the room but still you know i like things bright and airy so that's why i went with this and i like the geometric lines i usually prefer this than uh, flowers i feel like yeah this is just me it's very clean and it had some green details and some silver details and yeah it just marries so well with the couch and the coffee table this coffee table i got it from nawal center top floor i think this the the, the seventh floor and this is my beautiful antique vase it's like a ginger jar yeah i feel like it goes really well with the with a coffee table i just put on like a like a, a dining table mat on it they sell this at a uh, quick mat i got it for 200 i think and yeah i just put it over there so that the the face doesn't cause some scratches and i just love the marble it's such a beautiful marble look before i end this vlog guys let's unbox this beautiful package i received from royalty wood guys she's based in mombasa and she's having this beautiful offer going on whereby you buy this whole package for 3500 only let's see what's inside you get a whole jar of wood look at that you get a kichetezo i love this uh, wooden kichetezo guys you know that i like the wooden element of anything so yeah you get that one she gives you a gas lighter for burning your charcoal and a beautiful mist spray it smells so good guys 
like you can spray it on the in the living room on your curtains on yourself or your abaya it just smells amazing and down here and you get a nice wood uh, body lotion which is really beautiful for you to smell nice you know <laughs> smelling really nice I love you, two packets of charcoal, which I really have already used one already. I've already started using this one. So I feel like it's a, it's a really convenient pack. Afro Lanka farm, this is really convenient. If you're a person like me who just wants to grab something and go, I don't want to be going and hunting for chitetezo. After finish, I go hunt for a gas. I go hunt for Udi. I go hunt separate, separate things. She has made our work so easy. You get all of this at 3,500. I'm gonna leave her Instagram account here so you can just DM her and she can just deliver for you anywhere you are. Mombasa, Nairobi, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm about to burn my oud so that my house can smell nice. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Please stay tuned. More content is coming, guys. I love you. Thank you for staying patient with me. Thank you for understanding. And I'll catch you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, okay?